welcome to Feather Adventures with me, Squishy! And in today's video, we are going to be building a mini game in Feather Fun. And we haven't done that in a while, actually. And the last thing we built was the roller coaster, which you can probably see in the Disney. Yes, definitely you can see it. Um, it's very, very hard to miss. So, yeah, and we are going to be building in this area right down here. Um, and you can see the cow still in the guest room. Let's go say hi to him because we haven't said hi to him in a while. Last time, um, I did see him as I was waving across in that direction. Let's say hello. Hello. Are you enjoying your stay? Are you, are you enjoying your guest nest? Okay, I'm going to give him this last piece of wheat. Come here. Come on. Are you enjoying your stay? Yes, Squish. Oh, that's me nodded. I thought he was going. Oh, he did nod. He nodded. Okay, there you go. You enjoy. You enjoy the rest of your stay. I'm going to shut this door. We need to get someone in the guest nest too. Um, it seems to be a bit empty at the moment. I mean, it's got everything it needs. It's got a wardrobe. It's got a crafting table. It's got a furnace in your bedroom. I mean... What more could you ask for? <laughs> um, yeah, let's go and see our dogs. Let's go through this entrance. Let's go to the Ducky Dog Dome and um, say, Hello, doggies. Hello. Why? I've noticed Puddles and Nibbles do exactly the same thing. And Waddles and Peep do exactly the same thing. They like, copy each other. It's so weird. Um, anyway, I'm going to give you guys some num nums. Here you go. And tilt. And tilt. And tilt. There we go. There you go, Waddles. There you go, Puddles. There you go, Peep. And there you go, Nibbles. Have a nice day, doggies. I am going to go off to the Feather Friends Pond down my water slide. And we can see who I've added today. Whee! And it's in this direction. Is it in this direction? Let me, let me check the sign. Yes, yes. I, I think it is over here. I really need a pathway. I need a new way of getting down that water slide just so I can land on something that's easy to get out of because I'm just like walking, well, walking around, swimming around in that water down there. Um, I'll find something. I'll find a way out of that. Um, and yeah, today to my favorite friend's pond, I am adding Angie. And that is because she made me this picture of me and Stampy in our Sky Den series, which is on his channel. And um, basically, we are admiring our beautiful Ender Dragon that we made. And um, yeah, it's a really, really amazing drawing so thank you Angie and welcome to the feather friends pond you can have a swim in here anytime you like <laughs> and I'm gonna have some pumpkin pie actually because all that swimming has made me hungry so I'm just gonna grab a pumpkin pie right there I also need a pathway up here maybe it should like join onto this one and like start building up a little bit and then go up here I think we need to work on that um, another time. I need to work on my pathways because there's not many um, around here. I mean, there's, it seems to be a lot. I mean, look at that. That looks cool. But, you know, I, I need to build up a little bit more. Um, and, yeah, let's go to the storage room and go to the things for today chest. And uh, we need a lot of stuff. For this mini game. it has a lot of materials. I mean, it's simple. It's really, really simple. It's the simplest game you're going to see, really. Um, apart from that pumpkin pie one that I made. Um, and yeah, oh, the door's open. Ooh, scary. I need another pathway here. What's going on, Squishy? Sort out your pathways. I need to work this out. Um, so yeah, let's go underneath the actual entrance and go into Feather Fern. And um, as I said at the start of the video, we are building right over here. And let me just wave my buttons around as I say that. You can hardly see the button. Um, and yeah, we're going to be building right here. And, um, yeah, we need, we need to start. It's going to be a game that is called Protect the Nest. And you like that name, don't you, Pig? Do you like that name, Protect the Nest? Because, basically, it's a 2v2 game, um, and you're trying to protect your nest, basically, and make all the lights light up. Um, and that, that probably makes no sense at the moment, but it will do make sense in the future. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start building. I'm going to start by digging a little pathway across here, um, just so we have a bit of an entrance going on. So I'm going to grab my oak and my birch right here. So I'm going to go like this and make the pathway look quite nice. And here is going to be the entrance. Um, but what I want to do, I kind of want to dig around it a little bit. Um, so there's three there. So I need it to be... How long do I need it to be across? If I just keep going, um, hopefully I'll get to a point where... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I go eight across here, I think that'd be enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Um, I think that's going to be enough. I think that's enough room um, for now anyway. If we need to extend it, we can. Um, I'm just going to go up here um, a quite a long distance because we need to fit about um, four or five like birds in there. It's, again, that, that won't make any sense. Um, but it will. It will. Honestly, it will. Um, I could do with 
of actually building up around here as well. So let me just start um, building um, some like spots around here. Um, if I just quickly go eh, like this and put loads of dirt down. Um, usually you don't like building with dirt, but I I'm going to at the moment because I need to um, fill in all of this land because I, I think I will need more room, um, but I will have to like terraform this place because it's a bit you know like all over the place at the moment um so if i just keep going like this um hopefully that's going to be enough space to build this game um i think that's going to be enough if i just carry on building like this i think i'm gonna run out yes i am gonna run out it's okay though we can just build around it um i think that's going to be enough if i just carry on digging in this direction um we should be able to join back up um to where i stopped over here where did i stop Okay, I think I should just start digging from over here because otherwise it's going to really, really confuse me. Um, and yeah, um, if you didn't realise from the title, this game involves ducks. And um, we need to build ducks, which is why I have quite a lot of yellow and orange wool on me and loads of buttons because we're going to use those um, like as for eyes or something on the ducks. Um, so yeah, it all makes sense um, in a short second. But I do need to look at what a duck looks like because I, I don't really have a mirror. Maybe I should make one. Okay, I need to have a look. I need to see what I look like because otherwise we're going to get so, so confused. Um, so let's just make a quick mirror uh, like this. Uh, uh, oh, no. Okay, um, if I go like this and then I can jump up here um, just so I can have a look at uh, what my reflection looks like. Just so I can um, have a look through this glass if I can. If I go this way. There we go. So now I can see what I look like. Um... Okay, so I'm yellow, orange beak, I'm holding glass, I have a diamond helmet on. Okay, I, th I, think, I, I think I get my picture now. I think I get it. If I try and make a duck now, um, hopefully I can because, you know, it's going to be pretty accurate now I've um, seen myself in the mirror. Um, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to grab some birch planks I have. I have my buttons. I don't need those. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I need for the duck to be built if I go maybe if right I need to make a duck I need to make a duck this can be the body I just want to make him look as small as possible uh half slab for the beak and I oh not glass for eyes I wanted my button a glass eye for a ducky um uh, okay it's missing something right in my sky island and um over there like I'm using trap doors so I might as well use trap doors as the wings and there we go there is my little ducky I like it. Does that button work? No, it doesn't. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. That, that is what these ducks are going to look like. But there's going to be a lot of them. So that's going to be interesting. Um, and I think that's pretty accurate. I think that is more accurate than what I would have built otherwise. If I didn't look at my reflection, I probably would have just done a big yellow splodge or something. Um, so yeah, if I just like, get rid of this virtual plank with my hand, I should have got an axe then. Right, I'm going to build out the, um, the area we're going to build in. Um, just so we know um, how big it's going to be. And uh, yeah, just give us an idea of how to build this properly. I'm getting hungry again. What is with me lately? I'm just always, always hungry. Um, okay, right, if I just keep... I really need some dirt as well. Like, who needs dirt? Seriously, who who bothers carrying around loads of dirt with them? No, no one, exactly. I'm just going to make some more planks, actually, because I was running low on planks as well. I'm probably just going to dig around the area, try and get some dirt just to fill in those little holes. Um, so, yeah, the aim of this game is to save your duck, okay? That, that's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. You save your duck. And um, when you save it, a light should come on. Oh, and I can see the cow's grave. That was the cow that I killed during making the roller coaster. Hopefully, I don't hurt any animals on this game, okay? That is my goal. Don't hurt animals while making games. It's it's just not fair on them. It's definitely not fair at all. Um, so that is my aim during making this game. <laughs> it's a weird aim. Usually, it's just like, okay, finish it to the best of your ability. Just, just don't kill any animals, Squishy. Just don't do it. Um, so, yeah, if I'm going to carry on building up this, um, I need to fill in all of the little gaps like this and then fill in these parts because I always like filling up the dirt as much as I can um, because otherwise I don't like knowing that there's like gaps underground and stuff. Right, I'm going to place a few torches around here because this could get dangerous and um, it's very dark very quickly. Um, so I'm just going to go and place some over here and then place some here and just keep placing them around just so nothing spawns close to me. I know that things are going to be spawning around me um, but this place is probably well lit it's, it's well lit and there's a cow to protect me right cow 
Don't come near me because if animals come near me, mm. there's a chance that they are going to be hurt. So I don't, I don't want you to come near me. I'm a monster. <laughs> um, okay, right. So we need to start by making the um, little turrets, I guess. I think I can call them turrets. Um, and we have buckets here. Mm. And basically the turrets are duckies swimming in water, which is pretty, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go and um, start making the little ponds for the ducks. Um, I'm going to build it about one, two, three, four, five across. So I'm going to go like this. Um, I'm going to do two up here. Um, I'm going to put three there and one in the middle and this is going to be pretty much symmetrical with this side um, So I think I started like right in the corner there. So one two three four five one two three four five one two three and then the one in the middle and there's going to be like quite a few rows of these um, So we need to make room for it. So I'm going to do uh, One two three. I can see a zombie I can see you. Get away. I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging. Let me dig. Why don't you let me why don't you let me dig? I wanna dig a hole and you're just getting in the hole and you just just in my way. Just no. At least you gave me rotten flesh for my dogs. This is a good chance. I'm not gonna go to bed because I do need some rotten flesh for my dogs. Um so if they do come along, that's quite beneficial. And I need food as well. What's wrong with me? Nom 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 nom. There we go. Okay, I think I did two spaces across so I can carry on digging all of these holes out like this and then, oh, I think that's right actually. I was up for I did a mistake then, but it's okay, it's fine. Um, and then we need to go and fill up all of these water buckets that I have on me because these ponds are going to be filled with water um, and then that little duck over there is going to be like on top of it um, and these are like little turrets and behind these turrets are going to be um, the nests of an opposing team and I can see a creeper. Okay, just so he doesn't blow anything up, I'm going to try and take him out. Oh, he's seen me. Oh, he's seen me. Okay, go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay, walk backwards. Okay, I'm really unlucky with creepers because they just pretty much just go for me all the time. There we go. Got some gunpowder as well. I'm going to grab your XP down here as well, young sir. Thank you. Um, they seem to be spawning over here. So uh, let's grab some torches and just place them there and there. I just saw a skeleton in the distance. This is so dangerous. Why am I why am I even bothering doing this? Why am I doing this? Um okay, right. I think three may be enough. I may have to extend it into one more No No Get away Get away Okay he's gone. No, he's coming back. Okay, right, that's it. That's it. I don't like baby zombies. They scare me so much. I didn't even know he was there. I didn't even hear him. That was really weird. I didn't even hear him coming up to me. Anyway, carrying on digging. Nice, happy digging. It's not, like, dangerous doing this at all, Squishy. That's... Uh, okay, it's very dangerous doing this. This is so silly. I shouldn't be digging holes and stuff around this area. Um, but it's okay. Okay, maybe I should do one on the end here as well. Um, just for the final one. Okay, okay, right. I need your rotten flesh, please. So, come on, come on, bring it on, bring it on. There we go. Did I get any? Okay, I've got two. I can live with that. I can live with that. Right, okay, let's go and grab some water for these pond turret things. And, um, yeah, oh, they, luckily there's loads of water around on Feather Adventures. Um, so that's very lucky indeed. Oh, no, my buckets. Okay, I'm just going to go quickly get rid of all of that dirt. And what else? Okay, I think there's something after me. There's a baby zombie right there. Okay. Get away from me. Get away. Thank you. And I need your rotten flesh. Thank you very much. Um, I think there's buckets underwater. Um, what should I chuck out? I think I'll get rid of the seeds and this flower. And then I can go down here and collect all these buckets up. And nope. Okay, I'm going to drown under here. So I'm going to have to be very careful. There's one bucket. Um, I'm going to drop these and drop those and drop these. And okay, I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. Whew, I may have just lost one bucket. But it's okay. I think we have enough water to make like an, at least an unlimited water source. Um, so we can use that and put that right in the middle for now. Um, just so I can just keep going back to it rather than just filling up loads of buckets. Because that wasn't working for me. Um, there we go. Right. Let's start filling up these turrets. So if I go plonk and plonk and plonky plonk plonk. And then I can um, show you guys what I mean by putting the duck in the middle. And I think that, it sounds like I'm saying piggy in the middle, but it's actually like the duck in the middle instead. There we go, that one's all still. Um, I think I can make this one still with one more maybe, if I put it there. 
Nope, here. Uh, so close, so close. Um, I won't fill up all these now. I'll just show you an example um, of how we're going to do this. Um, I could probably fill up one on this side as well. Um, probably do the opposing duck side because they're going to be different colours, which is going to be cool because one team's going to be the orange duck team and the other one's going to be the yellow duck team. Basically, it's that but in orange form, which is really cool. Um, I don't see any more zombies or anything coming after me. It's a bit unnerving. Where are they? Where are they? I don't I don't know where they are. Okay, right. Now for the ducks. So I'm going to go and get my orange and my uh, yellow wool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build on this side. Oh no, this isn't still. It's okay, I have some water on me. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. That's done. And then I'm going to grab my orange wool. And they're going to be pretty much like on the back here. Um, so I'm going to go across one, two, and then get rid of this one. Um, because it basically has to be in the water. Um, and basically what you can do is like duck behind the duck. So you can use it as like a ducking stand, <laughs> which is really cool. And on this side is going to be a yellow ducky, which will be nice because everyone knows yellow duckies are awesome. And um, yes, yeah, so we're going to have an orange one and a yellow one, which is going to look really awesome. So if I go like this, um, then I can put the birch wood plank on here. And I also have some um, oak slabs which can be the orange duck's beak um, and I have a mixture of um, wooden and um, stone buttons and on the I oh know we're gonna we're gonna use the wooden ones for these eyes no I think I think these should have the stone eyes um, because it'll be more clear on the yellow one um, so I'm just gonna quickly go put these on here there we go or maybe they should both have stone no, I, I kind of like that. I think that looks really cool. That looks really cute. Um, so I'm going to grab my uh, trap doors and put these on the side of the ducks for their wings. And you can actually um, go across on each one just on the wings. Um, and then you can like throw the eggs behind them because we're going to be throwing eggs onto pressure plates. Okay, right. We'll explain more in the next episode, I think, because I am making no sense to you guys. But you'll see. You've kind of seen it taking shape. Okay, I'm not very good at explaining mini games. Um, like, as you can tell, I'm going to take out this spider quickly. I'm good at fighting. I'm good at fighting mobs. Uh, that's pretty much it, um, but it's okay. I'm just going to try and get rid of this duck um, right in the middle, um, and then I'll show you, um, like, the rest of it, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, but, yeah, basically, you're going to be on one team. Say I'm on the yellow team, and behind the duck, we're going to have some trees, and they're going to have our pet duckies in. So they're going to have, like, yellow ducks in their tree, and we're going to have orange ducks because we're basically taking each other's babies and having a war. Um, and we're going to be throwing eggs um, to each of the um, trees, and um, on the trees are going to have pressure plates, and it's going to light up a little torch, and you can stay away. No, 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 no. And it's the first whoever lights up all the torches wins. Um, but we just about run out of time in this episode, guys. I will see you in the next one. Please don't blow up. There we go. <laughs> Bye.